Today I'm going to show you 10 ways you can fund your real estate deals. Let's dive in. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the Ask James Wise Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, we've got Tommy editing all the footage for your viewing pleasure. Folks, the Ask James Wise Show, this is your show. You guys are leaving us comments, asking us questions about all things real estate, and we are doing our very best to answer those for you. Here on this show, one of the most common questions is, how can I acquire the money? How can I get the money to fund my deals? How do I fund my deals? So I've put together a list of 10 ways that you can fund your deals. Number one, not surprisingly, cash. This is the simplest and easiest way to fund your deal. If you've got cash, you simply pay for the property cash. This is not very creative, and I know a lot of you out there that are asking this question might not have cash, so we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. One thing I want to say for you, though, is today I buy a lot of properties cash. I didn't used to do this when I didn't have a lot of capital, but when you are paying cash for your properties, you can sometimes get better deals than if you were to use any of the other methods. Number two residential financing. This is by far my favorite way to invest in real estate. This is my favorite way to fund deals. Residential financing is actually the most important reason I think people should get into real estate investing. It is the best financing. We are talking about 30-year loans that are low interest. The interest is often fixed and it is tax deductible. If you are buying an investment property, a non-owner occupied property with one to four units, you need to buy ones that have one to four units, anything five units and up, or with retail or any other use than uh, residential, you know, home use, it will not qualify for residential financing. If you're buying one of these non-owner occupied investment properties, typically what you're going to need to do is put down 25% the bank will loan you the other 75%. And some lenders are even going as low as 15 or 20% if you buy a single family home. Number three, house hacking. I actually utilize this strategy on the very first property I've ever bought. What house hacking is, is you utilize the fact that if you buy a home and intend to live in that home for the first 12 months, you can get better residential financing terms than what I just spoke about. Instead of having to put down 25%, you can get FHA loans where you only need to put down 3.5% or all you veterans out there, you can utilize the VA loan and you'll be able to buy real estate with no money down. You can actually get 0% down loans. You live in the home for at least one year and then from there, you are able to move on. You can move into another home and that home can be a pure investment property. In my particular situation, I actually lived in my very first home for seven years. In addition to me living there, I turned it into a rental property while I lived there because we built a suite in the basement and my brother actually became my very first tenant. And then when I eventually moved out of that home, we just moved a whole family into that property and I still own it to this day. Number four, commercial financing. Now, commercial financing is going to come into play a couple different ways. The first is if you buy any type of commercial investment property. Remember, residential financing, that's for residential properties with one to four units. So if you want to buy a five unit apartment building or larger, you need to utilize commercial financing. In addition, something you should know, those residential loans that I love so much, you are capped at 10 of those. Banks are only going to give you 10 of those Fannie and Freddie compliant loans. After that, you get no more. So if you want to continue buying one to four unit properties, you may need to look into commercial funding to fund those. One thing you need to know about commercial financing is the terms are not as good. When you're in the commercial space, you're not going to be getting 30-year fixed interest loans. The interest rates are probably going to be higher. The amortization is still going to be in the 20 to 30-year range, but the call is usually going to be much shorter. Typically, what we see is 5, 10, or 15 years as opposed to you being given the full 30 years to pay back the loan like you do with residential financing. Number five, hard money lending. This one is 
only something that you should consider using if you're trying to renovate a property in a quick fashion. House flippers, I'm talking to you guys. Hard money loans are really geared towards the house flippers. You go in, you purchase a distressed property, you fix it up in 90 to 120 days, and then you sell it. Hard money loans are often going to require less documentation out of you, the buyer, than your traditional loans would, but the interest rates are much, much higher. There's probably a lot of points up front. In addition to that, these are short-term loans. Nobody is looking to write hard money loans as a permanent means of financing. These hard money lenders are looking to get in, get their money in the pot, and get a quick return. Number six, private loan. Now, I know a lot of folks out there seem to think that private loans and hard money loans are one and the same. They are not. Folks, hard money lenders, they're in the business of privately lending their money, yes, but they are in the business of doing this. So if you're out there and you're Googling hard money lenders and you see folks advertising as private lenders instead of hard money lenders, don't get confused. They are not different. They are still just hard money lenders. They're not true private lenders. What a true private lender is, is someone who's not actually in the business of writing loans like hard money lenders are. These are people that you know personally who you are approaching. Think mom, dad, Uncle Bill, Gary from work. These are true private lenders. Lucky number seven, partnerships. Now, partnerships are a very popular way for folks to invest in real estate. You get a lot of folks out there who don't have a lot of capital put into their deals. So they're constantly being told, hey, you got to find partners to fund your deals. And I have done this quite a bit. As a matter of fact, Holton Wise itself, Holton Wise is a partnership. I'm Wise. Holton is my partner. In addition to that, we've also partnered with investors in the past and done JV deals, typically with the partners being money or capital partners and us being the sweat equity partners. Now, here's the thing about partnerships. They don't necessarily work if you're brand new, out of the gate, just trying to get started in investing in real estate. Because what, to, to have a successful partnership, to actually make a partnership in the real estate business that's going to work, Everyone needs to bring something of value to the deal. Now, the money partner, they're typically not going to do anything other than provide the money. That is pretty obvious what value they're bringing, right? They're bringing the capital to the deal. Without the money, the deal doesn't happen. So that money partner, they don't do any of the work. They just simply provide the money. You being the person seeking the money, you need to provide value. So you better have either experience or or skills or expert knowledge to prove to your money partner that you have the value, that you can provide value to that deal, that it makes sense for them to invest their money in you. U.S. Reeb is a full service turnkey provider offering investors the opportunity to purchase single family and multifamily investment properties in Cincinnati, Ohio, Dayton, Ohio, and Kansas City, Missouri. The purchase process is seamless, from reserving a property to obtaining financing, inspections, and insurance referrals, U.S. REAP has a dedicated team in place to manage the process from start to finish. In addition, U.S. REAP is also directly integrated with its own private placement fund for accredited investors. The fund seeks to raise $10 million to capitalize on the repositioning of distressed single-family and multifamily real estate. Number eight, credit cards. Now, truth be told, of all the options, I think this is probably the riskiest and the one that you should use the very least. But as a matter of fact, I did fund one of my earlier deals with this. As a matter of fact, it was actually the second deal I ever did and the first pure investment deal I ever did, my first non-owner-occupied deal. You see, my very first deal, we talked about that earlier. That was a house hack. I purchased that with an FHA loan when I was 21, and I lived there turning it into a rental. This particular property I bought a few years later 
utilizing my Discover card. It was a $36,000 property. I utilized $25,000 on my Discover line, and that was just a smoking deal. So I took the risk and purchased that property, which I later sold for more than double what I paid. So this could work in a jam, but you should only really utilize this if you have the opportunity to pick up a smoking deal and you have no cheaper means of acquiring the capital. Number nine, seller financing. This is another one of my favorite methods of acquiring properties or funding my deals. This is where you agree to pay the seller of the property a small down payment and they loan the rest of the value of the property to you so you get to pay them over time. Now, a lot of folks just getting started in the business seem to think that this is one of the better ways. It's not necessarily the greatest way to buy property when you're just getting started because much like acquiring partners, you need to provide value to that seller. You need to prove to that seller that you have a track record of doing this so they know that you're a safe bet. So as you build up a track record of deals done, you'll find getting owners or sellers to actually finance your deals becomes much easier because a lot of these folks, if you target landlords who've been in the game a long time, you know, they became landlords because they were interested in that passive monthly income. But the realities of being a property manager have beat them down over time. I mean, being a property manager, it's, it's a very tough job. Tenants are providing a bunch of BS to them. So if you can prove to them you have a track record of success, they'll see the positives of getting that passive income without any of the negatives of dealing with tenants themselves. Last but not least, number 10, combos. Now, when I say combos, I mean a combination of any of the previous nine that I've mentioned. You know, myself, I have done several types of combos. What we can look at is, say, combining seller financing with commercial loans. I have purchased apartment buildings where we get a commercial loan to cover 75% of the loan and we also get the owner to finance maybe half or 60 or 70% of the down payment. In addition, as you get more into the real estate business and you become more sophisticated, you can make even like deeper and more complicated combos. You could combine commercial financing with partnerships, with seller financing. Those are deals I've done in the past. If you guys are interested in hearing more about incredibly complicated ways to finance deals, let us know in the comments below and perhaps we'll make another video about that. As for right now though, that's all I've got for you today. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. You can manage work orders and even accept them online from your tenants. You can also share work order details with tenants or owners if you wish. With Rent Tech Direct, you will also fill your vacancies faster than ever with the built-in marketing tools. Just enter the details of your property and Rent Tech will automatically provide you with a professional online website as well as syndicate them to popular websites such as Zillow, Trulia and Apartments.com to get your listing maximum exposure so it's rented fast. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.